Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to change oil, change the air filter on this Cub Cadet LT42 inch XT1 riding mower. It's got the 18 horsepower Courage engine from Kohler. And I change my oil once a year and I bought a kit off of Amazon and I'm going to show you how to change oil and the air filter. So I got the cheap um, kit off of Amazon, which has everything in it for $19. I'll put a link to it in the description. It comes with the air filter, fuel filter. I may not change the fuel filter, and I may not change the spark plug, but it does come with one. And I'm definitely going to change the air filter and the oil filter. Yeah, looks like a pretty nice oil. You will need to buy some oil. Okay, so to find the oil type and quantity, we got to go to the manual for the engine. Now it says we can use 10W30, you can use 5W30, and 30 weight, but I like to use just plain old 10W30. And they hide the oil capacity. It's 1.6 quarts. That's how much we're going to put in it when we drain all of it out. So the first thing you should do when you um, want to change oil is you should start it up and let the engine warm up. You want that oil to get nice and warm so that it comes out really easy. So I'm going to start this up. We're not going to get it super hot. I'm not going to leave it running for 10, 15 minutes, but you know, three or four minutes to kind of get it nice and warm. And then we're going to change the oil. Okay. So I've got the engine warmed up, crank the wheel all the way to the right. And then you're going to put, then you can put a container right there for the oil to go into. Also take note when you had it running, how many hours you had on it. But I just change mine based on, I just change it every year. So the first thing I like to do is I like to lift just to get so it gets some air into it. I'm going to lift, this is the oil dipstick. That'll let the oil flow out of here quicker. So there's where the oil is going to come out of. It's got this tube. And then we're going to take the ends off of that tube. Okay, so we're going to need two wrenches. I got two crescent wrenches, but you want to put one on this. It's got some wrench flats. You don't want that. You don't want this part to turn. You only want to turn the cap. So we're going to hold this and put something here. We're going to put the wrench there and then we're going to, we're only going to turn this part. Again, you don't want that part to turn. it off and then have your bucket ready because the oil is going to come out as soon as we get that cap off the oil is going to come out i'm going to get some gloves on okay you can even kind of hold it up so it doesn't come flushing at you right away but i like to hold it down right into the bucket and there comes the oil and we put the oil yeah, I probably could have warmed this up a little bit longer. It's not coming out the fastest. Now, unfortunately, that hose wants to, it doesn't want to lay flat down. It wants to kind of lay like that. So I wedged this, this old bedpan up underneath the mower to kind of catch it. Because it takes a while. But the hotter you get the oil, the faster it is going to come out. My next video is going to be how to uh, take the deck off and sharpen the blades. And I'm also going to show you how to do a couple grease cirques on this. Okay, so that took about five minutes. Now we got to do the reverse. We're going to put the cap, the plug back on. The best way to do that is it's going to drip on you. Hold it up. And then it kind of stops the flow from coming out. Okay, so then just reverse the order. Put the cap back on. It should go down almost flush. Mine, I think, is actually flush. But remember, put the wrench on the big one. Hold the rim one. You don't want it turning. It could break off the hose. Just turn the cap. And now we need to stow the hose right there. Now we're going to take the oil filter off. Get you an old piece of cardboard, because when this comes off, you could get some oil that goes onto the frame. Just kind of angle it so that it's going to go down into your uh, oil pan. Now, you, can, you might have an oil filter wrench for it, but I just got a standard, um, these are just oil filter pliers. And you should be able to get down here on the wrenching flats, and it should just turn off. 
and then once it comes off a little bit you are going to get you are going to start to get some oil again it does make a mess drain the oil out of your filter Okay, so when you got your oil filter off, make sure the black O-ring came with it. Sometimes those can peel off and stick. We're gonna take a rag now, and we're just gonna we're just gonna clean that area. Clean that right there where the oil filter seats. So I always just put the date or the year 2021 on my filter. Now it says you're supposed to put some oil inside the filter and let it absorb for two minutes. So let's go ahead and do that. Again, I just use some Walmart um, SuperTech full synthetic 10W30. Again, it's a, a quart and a half. So it'll be pretty easy to tell. Um, we'll, we'll go a little bit more than a quart and a half. It's 1.6. But we can just put a whole quart and then a half of one. So let's put a little bit of oil I didn't used to do this but it is a good idea to do it so they want you to pre soak the oil or the filter fill it up to the threads I mean I wouldn't go all the way to the threads it'll make a mess now one thing I do like to do I do like to put just a little bit of oil on the o-ring it just helps it kind of seal better now we're gonna let that sit for two minutes Okay, so we've got that area all clean. This is soaked. Don't dump it over that oil. We'll come out. Now, these threads are very easy. They should just, it should start very easy. Okay. And it spins on. Okay, now once, this is the important part. Once the filter comes in contact with the metal surface, it kind of comes to a stop. And now this is where you want to go. Let's see how far we go. So, there's almost one turn now i am doing this only by hand i'm not going to put a wrench on here you don't want to hand you don't want to tighten this down with a wrench this takes some getting used to but you just put it on okay i got my hand i'm using my hand i really can't turn it anymore that's tight enough you don't want to get it super tight but you don't want it to fall off okay so now we've got our hose back on our plugs back in oil filters changed now it's time to fill it up we're gonna get a funnel and put 1.6, 1.5 quarts in. So again, this is what a quart is. It's gonna take one and a half of these, one and a half quarts. Okay, so we're just gonna pour it in nice and slow. It can't overflow on you, just take your time here. I'm going to do another half a quart. Okay. Okay, so put your dipstick back in. You're not going to get a real accurate reading on the oil right now because you've got to run the engine. So I've got the dipstick in, oil filter there. We're going to start the engine up. And we're going to let it run and uh, check for leaks. Okay, so I let it run for about five minutes. We're just going to look it over. Make sure nothing's leaking. This is really important. You know, you don't want to lose your oil. Uh, nothing's leaking around here. Everything looks really good. Now, checking the oil, we want to let it settle for a little bit. Right now, you've got oil kind of all slung around the engine. We're just going to let it sit for a minute. And then we're going to check the oil. Okay, so checking the oil level with brand new oil is really tricky. It's just hard to see. You can come over here, you can try to hold it in the light. It's, it's super hard to see on that dipstick. I can see it and we're good to go. Check out my next video. I'm going to show you how to change the air filter. These are the two things I do every year. Then I'm going to do a video on the grease cirques and another video on how to sharpen the blades. Thanks everybody for watching, and if you could, please like and subscribe.